There's an alternate way of handling this type of problem. I could take the log of both sides, and I'm just going to do log, which is log to the base 10. Once I do that, I'm going to use what's called the power property of logarithms. That is, I if I have log of b raised to the x power, that's the same thing as x times log of b. So I'm going to use that to make my life a little bit easier for this example. I'm going to rewrite the left-hand side as x times log of 10. That's going to equal log of 3. And now I'm going to solve to get x by itself. And now I just need to turn to my calculator. When I use my calculator, I have to be very careful about parentheses, so I need to type in the question just like I have it here. And once you hit enter, you get the answer of 0.47712. You can always check your work by using your calculator. I can type in 10 caret and then the answer I had gotten, and I would find that that does in fact equal 3.